Um, see you okay. later, Vicky. Be careful, Vicky. Vicky, where are you going? I have an appointment. Janet, I'm sorry. I forgot to call you. Girl, I can't take you. I got a court date. Well, I got a real date, and I got to get this head done. <laughs> Lamar! Lamar, would you do me a favor and take Janet, please? I gotta go to court. Certainly. Embrace yourself, my dear. You're about to embark on the Lamar experience. <laughs> I can handle it if you can. Oh, oh. Go on, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and if you're going to court, here's a little advice. I'd uh, hike up that dress a bit. Justice may be blind, but judges aren't. <laughs> Always talk. I am not on trial here. They finally caught that crater-headed, hip-hopping, Jiminy Cricket little kid that stole my purse. And I'm gonna make sure that he pays. It is a shame what they let people get away with these days. Girl, in the Middle East, they don't mess around. If a man steals something, they cut off his hand. Mm -hmm. And if he lies, they slice that tongue right out of his head. Get out of here. Oh, honey, and in case of adultery... Please! Yes. I'll be up all night. <laughs> Wearing a new dress, new hat, brand new ideas. As a matter of fact, I've changed for oh, good. Somehow the wires uncrossed, the tables are turned. I knew I had something else to love. I'm feeling good from my head to my shoes. Know where I'm going and I know what to do. Ooh, 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 I got a new attitude. Yvonne, it's all set. I'm going to make my record. I've got the song. I've got the studio. Excuse me, sweetheart. I'm just missing one thing. The talent. <laughs> I'm going to need a little advance on my salary to pay the musicians. OK, how much? Say, uh, two years. <laughs> Sing it a cappella, Lamar. <laughs> cool. <laughs> No backstage passes for you. <laughs> well, that's quite all right, Lamar. Because by the time you are hit, I probably won't even be able to hear. Oh, I don't get your nice savings on that. Oh, come on, Lamar. Now, you know good and well. I ain't even think about that. Well, sponsors don't drip anymore. Leon, they never dripped. You were supposed to fix the toilet. The toilet? The toilet. All right, uh, I'll take 10% off the bill. Oh, that's so good, because let me take off the other 90%. <laughs> you know, you got a bad attitude, Yvonne. I hate doing business with women. I'll fix it for you. You're absolutely right, Leon. Business should be left to men, like us. Us? <laughs> right. You. What, with your uh, plumbing business and... Real estate investments, you must be worth, say, uh... A lot more than you are. <laughs> yes, but uh, as a fellow entrepreneur, I thought maybe we could have dinner. Kick around a few investment ideas. You buying? Of course. My choice? You got it. Do you have to be there? <laughs> you need something to test your food. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hey. hey. So, Vicky, did you put him away? Kid got exactly what he deserved. He'll probably serve about a year and a half. You nailed him. A year and a half in the pen? Not exactly. The judge thought that under the circumstances, justice would best be served if he were to do restitution. Oh, that's an excellent oh, he idea. Was in this shop. Here? <laughs> right here in this shop? With all us to fist this women? If he come near me, I'ma yank his face off. <laughs> Something is wrong here. He commits the crime and we do the time. Now, why would the judge do that? Well, it was partly my idea. <laughs> Vicky, this isn't an idea. Inventing the wheel is an idea. <laughs> Yvonne, if you could have just seen him. Oh, on the stand, he looked so small and innocent in his big glasses and his baggy suit. Oh. It was probably his daddy's suit, probably the only suit they had in the house. But they probably got a lot of car radios and watches. <laughs> Look, Yvonne, I know I didn't run this by you, but it's the right thing. If you'd have been there, you'd have done the same thing. Oh, if it was me, I would...
would make a little place in the apartment for him. Yeah. Buy him a car. Yeah. Invite friends over so he could mug them in the safety of his own home. <laughs> Just give the kid a chance. Vicky! <laughs> I am a nightmare walking, psychopath talking, king of my jungle, just a gangster stalking, living life like a fire, like a with my fuse, Vendetta. Yo, uh, where's Vic? I think you're in the wrong place, young man. The 7-Eleven is around the corner. <laughs> I'll give you your tip next week. I don't want to open up my purse. Oh, uh -uh, don't try. <laughs> Well, Horace, I see you slipped into something more comfortable. Oh, you mean a suit and glasses? That was hype, wasn't it? Yeah, that was my lawyer's idea. He said that'd be a good way, you know, to suck it. Word, you know what time it is. I just didn't want to go to jail. I see. Might as well introduce you to the other people that work here. Cool. This is Audrey Laker. And, um, this is Yvonne, my sister. Keep your hot little hands where I can see them. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to her. She's a Dragnet fan. <laughs> and this is Lamar. All right, yeah, that's cool. You all can call me Chili D. Why I call you Chili D? Because I'm icy. <laughs> I like this kid. Oh, thanks, Pops. <laughs> now, let's get down to business. First of all, you'll be in charge of sweeping up and making sure that the stock room is kept in order. And after that, okay, I want Okay, okay, I'm down. But first, I gotta make a phone call. Sure. Why not? <laughs> What's up, woman? Why don't you just admit it? This boy is trying to con you. Now, he's trying to get over. Let's get him out of here. Look, Yvonne, if this kid goes to prison, he will just get worse. If we show him we care, maybe we can turn him around, get him on the right track. I don't know, but let me check. Yo, yo, yo. Anybody need some almost new tires? <laughs> On, the way to reach this kid is with patience and understanding. Just think of this as a kinder, gentler beauty shop. <laughs> Why don't we build a campfire, join hands, and sing Kumbaya? <laughs> Yo, ladies, check this out. I got some. <laughs> Horace, you cannot take lunches that last all afternoon. Sorry, but I have to go with these candy bars. Hey, I'm selling them for $5 each. $5? They got almonds? <laughs> the size is for a good cause. Raising bail for a friend? I'm raising money for the McHenry School Band. You're my man. McHenry School doesn't have a band. They don't have a football team either, but I sold some tickets. <laughs> the broom is in the back. Go get acquainted. Go get acquainted. <laughs> Chili, come on. Let's rap. Now let's get honest. A quick buck is, hey, it's fine, but there's nothing like the satisfaction of a hard day's work for a good, honest dollar. Dollar? Well, let me put it another way. It doesn't matter what you do in life, even if you are a ditch digger, but if you are a ditch digger, you should be the best darn ditch digger there ever was. Now, do you understand? No. Do you know the words to Kumbaya? <laughs> Go oh, sweep. All right. You see? That kid is making progress. We just had a very wonderful conversation. Yes, I'm going to be right <laughs> Baby, I don't care what Vicky says. That child is trouble, and he will steal again. Mm-hmm. That's why I keep my money right here. The bank of BB. <laughs> Watch this. Lamar, may I borrow your pen? Sure. Just let me hold the keys to your car. <laughs> Lamar, it's just a pen. A 14-karat gold pen that was given to me by my first girlfriend. She was 22 and... And you were 12. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> just give me the pen. Thank you. <laughs> B.B., let's make you that appointment. Well, since when did I have to start making appointments? Oh, yeah. Are you free next Thursday? Let's see the book. Oh, the one Look at all these 
time for cosmetic surgery. There's almost one on every page. You know this all started because of Michael. Okay. Mm -hmm. Michael wanted to look like Diana. And Diana wanted to look like Liz Taylor. And Liz wanted to look like Orson Welles. Chili, uh, have you got a pen? Oh, thank you. Hello, information? I need some phone numbers, please. Uh, the fire department? Thank you. And the police department? Thank you. And the number for 911? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Shoot. Now I'm gonna have to look it up. Here you go, Chili. Thanks. Look at that. Wait a minute. Isn't that Anna used to work over at the bakery? No. no. Yes, no. it is. Not Anna. Look at that forehead. Not That's Anna. Anna. No. That uh -huh. The Lord don't make but four foreheads look like that. <laughs> So, how much time did Al Capone Jr. work off today? Just an hour. Oh, Lord, he's gonna be here forever at that rate. Vicky, why don't we just give him time off of bad behavior and get him out of here by the end of the week? Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cadillacs. I don't care if I ever get back. Lamar, what are you all dressed up for? I'm taking Leon to the baseball game. Well, what's the can for? Well, Leon likes to chew tobacco at the ball game. Ooh, oh. Lamar. Do you really think this is going to get you anywhere? Well, you have to understand how show business works. You pal around, you rub elbows together. You, you kiss up. Exactly. That's how you play the game. Then before you know it, you're at the top of the charts and you drop everybody. Ooh. Yvonne, where's my pen? I'm gonna need it when Leon signs the check. Oh. It's gone! What do you mean? Well, has anyone seen a gold pen? Last time I saw it, Chili had it. I knew it. Chili took it. That's it, Vicky. I am calling his parole officer. I'm sending that boy back to his future. <laughs> now, just because Lamar's gold pen is missing does not mean that it's Chili's fault. Yay, yeah, Vaughn. It's your fault. I want my pen. <laughs> now, look here. I left that pen right over here on the table. Oops. Vicky, your calculator's gone, too. Oh, don't be ridiculous. My calculator's probably in my pocketbook. You want to check? Or are you chicken? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's probably somewhere around here. This is what happens when you bring a thief into the shop. We have to do something. That pen has sentimental value to me. My first girlfriend gave it to me. She was... 22, and I was... Well, did I tell you about my second girlfriend? She mm -hmm. gave me a car. <laughs> did anybody see Chili take anything? Well, no. But if a tree falls in the forest and there's no one there to hear it, does it make a sound? <laughs> Why don't you go find out, Taylor? <laughs> It had to be him. Who else could it be? Yvonne, you don't have any proof. Okay, okay. Then maybe we have to catch him red-handed. <laughs> Let me guess. You're here to see Lamar. How did you know? How could I not? <laughs> Lamar? Ah, my dates are here. The man carries a spare. <laughs> Leon and I are double dating. I fixed him up. Do you really think these women are Leon's type? <laughs> <laughs> the one on the right is a plumber. <laughs> Leon, meet Keisha and Tamara. They're our dates. Hi. Hi. 
Are they real? Yes. And they sing back up, too. <clears throat> well, ladies, uh, shall we go? Okay. Leon, wait a minute. This is supposed to be a double date. That's right, Lamar. One, two. Good night. <laughs> Forget it. This ain't worth no gold record. <laughs> need someone to drive. <laughs> well, you better get a move on if we want to make that Ziggy Marley concert. Ch Chili? Yeah. Once you finish sweeping up, I want you to lock up. You got it, Wharton. <laughs> Vicky, are you sure you want to leave him here? Do you want to make the concert or not? All right, I'll be dead. <laughs> oh, you're the stupid fresh fly guy who gets all the ladies. Not to mention their purses. <laughs> yeah, well, my purse is still right there where I put it. Well, that's because he feels like he works slow. <laughs> oh, there better not be a 976 on this one's bill either. Well, a person could dial one of those by accident. <laughs> Listen to this. Check it out. This is the big slam. It's harder from the top. Pushing out the groove that you can't stop. Here comes a let you know. It's a brand new deal on the radio. You're going to run out of taste. This child has good taste in music. <laughs> well, I'm sick of your MTV raps. <laughs> I think something is gonna go down. Going down? Which one are you, Jake or the fat man? Oh, yeah? Well, look at this. Uh -huh. His instincts are kicking in. He's hovering. Bingo. The eagle has landed. Vicky, look, he's coming this way. He's cleaning out your purse right now. You don't know that. He just locked the door. Maybe he's leaving. He's coming out the front door with a smile on his face and a bulge in his jacket. Okay. Maybe you're right. Oh, it was stupid of me to think that I could make a difference, that I could turn him around. Now, Vicky, look. Your heart was in the right place. Your purse wasn't. <laughs> Go ahead. Make jokes. I deserve it. Vicky St. James, Miss Soft Touch, the girl who can always be had. Vicky, you are a wonderful, lovable, sometimes gullible, sometimes naive, sometimes easily duped human being. But that's who you are. I wouldn't change you one bit. You really mean it? I mean it. Together we are a perfect balance. Now you did your part. Let me take care of Chili. <laughs> okay. Come on, open the door so I can get my pocketbook and we can go home. You open the door. You gave him my keys. My keys are inside in my pocketbook, along with all my other keys. Oh, maybe this window's open. I think I got it. Ah, the alarm! I'm picking up those out of and shut it off. The safe got you chilly. Hit the safe. Oh, my Lord. All 
of yesterday's receipts were in here. Boy, am I glad we had a bad day yesterday. <laughs> it's all in here. The pen, the calculator, my pocketbook. He didn't steal anything. You mean he's been taking that stuff, putting it in the safe? Wow, do I feel stupid. You were right all along. I had this kid pegged all wrong. I'm gonna kill him. Why is it that we can't ever agree on anything? <laughs> told me he was gonna play street with me all along. He's been setting us up, playing us for suckers. Yo, 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 the chill is here. Oh, I guess you got my note. Now, do I get separate apologies, or do you want to do them together? Now, you listen to me. Since the moment you got here, you have been playing me for a chump. And after I went out of my way for you, because for some strange reason, I care about you. But you do everything you possibly can to avoid work. You are irresponsible, disrespectful, and I'm going to stop wasting my time. Word, you don't want me here, and I don't want me here. So check it out. I'm not here. Fine. Cool. I'm breaking out. Later. Later. Yo, Vic. Hey, what's up with this? You not gonna stop me? Vicky, now you know this isn't right. Do you want to stay? Sure. The phone calls are free. No, they are not free. That's another thing. You know, things have got to change around here. Now, let's start with your hours, for one. They will now each be 60 minutes each. With the exception of your lunch hour, they will be 20 minutes. Man, when do you take my mug shot? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I understand. I'll go sweep the court. I think I finally got through to him. You know, at first I thought you were wrong, but I think this is going to work out fine, Vicky. <laughs> Tilly, what happened? What's wrong? Sorry, it was just, just a flashback. <laughs> My numero uno. What's happening? Got my bonbons. Just like you like them. Bourbon. <laughs> so, did you reach a decision? Yep. And I think it's a good idea. Music is the future. Hey, everybody, did you hear that? What? Oh, good. Get out of here. Wow. Well, when do we start? I already started. Boys, roll in. All right, get it right in there. <laughs> A jukebox? I'm putting one of these in every shop I lease out. I'm gonna make a million. Thanks for the bonbon. C7. What kind of fool am I? Tonight, after ABC News Nightline, ABC Sports presents a 30-minute report on today's second round of the PGA Championship. That's tonight at midnight, Eastern, here on ABC. Sunday, Drew and the family attend his high school reunion on Life Goes On. Tuesday, DJ's in love on Roseanne. Then it's the comedy with Emmy nominations for Best Supporting Actor and Best Actor, Coach. Now, stay tuned for 2020. Next.